<laughs> now this is traveling in style. Yeah, it's definitely way better than falling in a river. Oh, it is, You're isn't not it? Kidding. No way I'm doing that again. Hey! Polka! Yeah, over here! Allegretto! Hey there, Frederick. Well, what have we here? I see the two of you have become awfully friendly all of a sudden. Oh yeah, absolutely. They had quite the heartfelt conversation the other day. I see. I guess sticking us with all the dirty work in Retardando worked out pretty well for you. <laughs> yes, it did. What does she mean, all the dirty work? Uh, Do you really want to know? Instead of dwelling on the past, yeah, exactly. Running away from the problem. Yes, yeah, he's just like one of those anime heroines that you talk to them about the love and then suddenly they get incredibly awkward and they try and walk away from the problem. I want to help Jazz fight too. I don't care if Crescendo is a prince. I think Baroque's being really irresponsible about all this. Oh yeah? Prince Crescendo is only doing what he thinks will avoid a dangerous war. Only because he's been seduced by Serenade. But wishful thinking isn't going to help the people who are suffering from the effects of mineral powder. Nope. Exactly. Hey, you never know though. Jazz might have already been able to work out something by talking with the prince. Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough, won't we? I have to be. For everyone. What's on your mind, Polka? Sometimes it can be hard to do something that'll help other people, can't it? I mean, how are you supposed to know that what you do will make a difference? Well, that's definitely something how for Frederick to think about. Is truly right. It's strange. Even though this is my dream, I no longer have any idea what's going to happen next. What could Should we be worried? Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough, won't we? So, having returned to Baroque with a full party intact... We're going to take an opportunity to just kill some time. So how are we going to kill this time? Well, over a cup of hot cocoa maybe? And also... By playing a card game. Oh, forget this! I'm in last place again! What are you talking well, someone about, apparently Viola? does not have That's the heart of the true. cards. <laughs> Yeah, Viola's no Yu-Gi-Oh. He's right, you know. Third place is a bronze medal. Not bad at all. <laughs> hey, are you trying to make me angry? I'm in third place out of three players. Yeah, and she's you getting her butt kicked by two little kids. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. So, so come on, say something to her. Degradating? Yeah, that's right. Or no, degrading? Old lady, we wouldn't... What? It's... Hey. Yeah, sh oh, we knew she would. We knew she would. Without you playing sweet and kind Lady Viola. <laughs> In other words, it gives someone when do you two get along an opportunity so well to be a third wheel so that Beat and Salsa are not going at each other's throats. Well, whatever. Anyway, I'll play again later if I'm in the mood. Great. Nice job, Salsa. You could have at least let Viola beat you a couple of times. <laughs> she got mad and left. What about you? You could have lost a few too. Yeah, she here we go again. Bronze medals the whole time. The old lady might decide not to play with us. You're lucky she wasn't in earshot. Uh, it's already been a whole week since we arrived in Baroque. Already? So a week? Why what are we not doing anything? Jazz and the captain possibly be talking about anyway. If anything, if that again. I'm tired of sitting around. If we wait for hey Walsh there, to Jazz. Make a move, it'll be too late. Too many have already lost their lives to that mineral powder. Who are you talking to? I don't see the prince. If we don't eliminate the source of the powder, we can never hope to resolve this. Hey, prince, there you are. War is nothing more than a battle of egos. A desire to surpass your adversary. Very profound. And as long as both sides feel that way, this clash will just continue on indefinitely. But you haven't even fired a it. shot. 
By putting so much effort into a never-ending battle, we all lose sight of the things that really matter. Are you listening, Russia? Eventually, the reason for the conflict is forgotten, replaced by the challenge of battle. The battle for power. You may still think you are fighting against your opponent. But? But at some point, it's no longer about who wins or loses. It's a power struggle. A childish fight between adults who should know better. It's just embarrassing. <laughs> wow. No wonder you're the head of state in Baroque. Listen, when you eliminate all the other possibilities, you cannot escape the truth that remains, no matter how difficult it may be to accept. I let myself believe in something that wasn't true. That Claves wasn't a spy for Forte. Oh, the prince did, a, did the same Looking thing. Back, I let myself believe what I wanted to be true without realizing it. I know that my weakness was the very thing that led to her death. But what, you'd rather she kill you? Maybe in some way. I was trying to make up for a lack of faith in myself by believing in Claves. And so now? Is what you're doing any different? Crescendo, please. I don't want to watch you make the same mistake that I did. I already know. Huh? I realized it a long time ago. Oh, yeah? The Forte spy had infiltrated my inner circle and was hiding very close to me. Oh, yes. What? A spy? Who is it? Oh, you're gonna be devastated when you find out who it is. Jazz, my friend. Could you please give me some time alone? To think? I want to find the best answer. So be it. So yeah, the prince has a lot to ponder. Is Serenade still out to get him? Serenade. It doesn't matter to me whose side you're really on. No? In fact, if there's one thing I'm sure of, it's that the things you've said to me are absolutely true. I always knew that you were connected to Count Waltz. Oh, did you now? Are you just leading us I on, Prince? you were assigned the role of preventing Baroque and me from attacking Forte first. An attack from Baroque would be a problem for Forte, so Count Walt sent you to me as insurance. Read the Count like a book, huh? But from a different perspective, it also means that right now we have the power to defeat Forte. So is that what you plan to do? The more you rejected the notion of war, the more my suspicions were confirmed. But I know you, Serenade, and I understand that this is not the real reason why you oppose this war. No, of course not. It's to allow Forte to invade. There are absolutely no arguments that I can use against you. But you can act on your own, Once right? I realized that, I could no longer see aiding Andantino as a just course of action. No. A rebellion no longer serves us any purpose. To avert this war, we have to find a new solution. And so, what will it entail? Well, wouldn't you agree? Serenade? <laughs> yeah, he's kind of expecting her to just pop out from somewhere. Like, right around somewhere over there? Yes, there's the quote-unquote princess. 
So are you gonna kill the prince? Or do you have something more devious in mind? We'll know soon enough. Meanwhile... Hey, Polka. Do you believe in good luck charms? Yes, I tend to take them too seriously. <laughs> okay, really? Okay, I'll teach you a good one. Hold your fingers out like this. Like this? Yeah, this charm works really well. And it's easy to do, too. Oh, yeah? Great, what do I do? Just hold your hand like this, in front of the person that you love. <laughs> the loser's you sign? Really? You're supposed to make them fall in love with you, too. Easy, huh? And how would you know this? Have you ever had a man before, Miss Viola? Really? And you can see I mean, I'm sure you're right preoccupied with tending hey, to your goats. Hey, I'm giving it a try next time you see Allegretto. Yeah, she's on to everything. Uh, Viola, please, don't tease me like that. <laughs> yeah, way to, way to scare her off. Way to scare off Polka. Well, Jazz, is your meeting thing finally over? Not yet. It's an important decision. I don't think it's something he can decide on quite that easily. Why not? He's going to think about it alone. <laughs> well, it, seems like it could be the like last thinking he does. So, let's spend the day exploring Baroque Castle tomorrow, alright? By the way, I don't think I've ever heard of that charm before. <laughs> well, yeah. Of course you haven't heard of it. Something I thought up just now. Maybe I should patent it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to put on some humor. Much, Viola. Yeah, she's still only got so little time left it. to live. Of course the charm won't work. I was just trying to give her a little courage. Watching those two together is making me crazy. Oh, yeah? Well, don't go overboard. Oh, Viola, are you starting to hit on jazz now? I'm the one who really needs courage. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. What about you? What? Do you have someone special like that too, Viola? <laughs> if only. Don't be silly. Of course I do. He's with me all the time. Arco, come here. Yeah, of course. Turns to Arco, a little pet we haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, like get a man, not a pet. Claves and falsetto. Will you be next? <sighs> well, looks like I'm third out of three players. I'm the bronze medal winner again. Uh, poor Viola. So now back inside the castle. Yeah, I told you this was going to be long. Oh, hey Viola. Are you here because you want to play some more? Wow, this is certainly a surprise. Is yeah, it? I figured you got mad and left, Viola. You know, because you kept losing to us all the time. <laughs> nah, it's okay. I kind of realized something. And what was that? Bronze medals suit me. Besides, so you accept mediocrity then? The last day we'll be able to relax. Jazz just told me. We're heading out tomorrow. Now, hurry up and deal the cards. Whoa, she's scaring me. <laughs> Maybe she's got some kind of super secret strategy worked out. I'm starting to get nervous. Well, it would be it would be yeah, interesting guys. to see what exactly you Bronze guys were playing, what exact I, what type of They're card game nice. you were playing. Huh? Hmm? Yeah, the, the kids can't understand it. So now Prince back outside. Wants some time alone so he can plot the best course of action for Baroque. I suppose it's going to take a little while for him to reach a decision. In the meantime, why don't we take a walk around Baroque? Sounds like a good idea to me. And it definitely offers us an ample opportunity because now our party is up to eight members with Allegretto, Polka, Jazz, Beat, Frederick, Viola, Salsa, and March in our party. 
And yeah, Jazz, as far as experience points and experience levels, well training the field. In fact, I won't even bother using him at this point. So let's bring back Viola. And let's bring out Beat as well, at least for now. I'm still on the fence on whether or not I want to continue using March because um, up until this point in this Let's Play, I never bothered using her. But all the other Let's Plays I see of this game by other YouTube gamers feature the use of March. So, definitely something I would consider. My, what a polite young man! I have many wares, so take a look! So, let's see what exactly you possess today, sir. You have an enhanced weapon for Allegretto, which increases his movement speed. And that's definitely something we can use. A gun for Beat that allows him to poison the enemy. A gold baton for Frederick. An enhanced bow for Viola. An enhanced sword for Jazz. Yeah, I'm just gonna get everyone enhanced everything. Just because I can. Alright. Three crystal suits. One. One leather guard. Oh. I do believe. Yeah, I've given the wrong type of armor to Miss Viola. She works better with a midnight shell, so. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to give this to someone else, maybe. Um, as far as other items are concerned, let's go ahead and give myself another 20 Snowpuff cookies. And so, yeah, we're really starting to get into the nitty gritty here as far as items are concerned. Um, let's go up to 27 Diamond Clovers, get ourselves up to 30 on that regard. I'm sure we'll get some more as we go along. And so, yeah, we can then start to sell all this stuff off. I'll be freshing my stock again soon. Who knows what I might have here next time? Well, I look forward to seeing it. But for now, it's time to save this game and bring today to a close. So yeah, a lot of cutscene going on over the course of the last two episodes. But we are now ready to begin the next course of our journey. And so that is what we shall be doing next time. So, with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Eternal Samada. And when I join you again, we will make a decision on what we will do next to advance the story. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.